Hello, 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 all, and welcome to The Good Witch. If you are new, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back, my loves. So, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. This is a daily guided message for whatever day you see it on. Um, it's definitely meant for you at this time. Today is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And there's a lot of energy surrounding today, tomorrow, and Friday. It's a very, very powerful time. So if you have um, your ancestral altars or anything else that you have, now is a good time to make sure that they're active that they're lit, that they're clean, that they're not cluttered, that if you have candles or whatever the case, incense, that it's it's the way that it should be for you. If you have a Shango altar, today is also a very, this is a very good time to express gratitude and express love and worthiness to that particular Orisha. It's a good manifestation time. It's not necessarily the holiday. The holiday, most people have very mixed feelings about it or completely straightforward feelings about it. But it's not about... I'm not here to say celebrate uh, Thanksgiving or, Indi or Indigenous People Day or Black Friday or whatever other a holiday or a title that people have given these days to. But the true power of these days is coming from the energy behind them. And when a group, a massive group of people are focused on basically these same things, it puts a lot of power behind it. So for the next, for today and the next few days, you are to be focusing on your long-term goals, goals. So this is the time to manifest long-term goals. A lot of you have no idea what your long-term goals are, and that's a problem. I'm not saying you have to have a definite path of where you want to end up, but you should know at least something about what you want to do, how you want to feel even, what you want to look like, where you want to be. Something, whatever your personal long-term goals are, now is a good time. This energy is set to manifest that those desires. It's also a good time for healing from past traumas and releasing those traumas completely. The energy is also very, very good for... Um, creating a balance creating balance in your life now it might not be permanent or ideal balance but things do tend to level themselves out here and we're going to get to our cards in a moment if you um are learning divination or you're are you dealing any type of divinations this is a good time to learn and go deeper in that. Learn and go deeper into your realm or your type of divination. Um, with the healing, the long-term goals, the balancing and the divination, making sure our ancestral altars, our Shango altars are put up and put away. Um, if you have a Yamaya altar, it's a good time for that too because she'll bring so much needed love into certain situations. So going into, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. You have the tower card in reverse and the six of disc, which is showing me in order for you to be, in order for you to achieve the goal that you want, in love or in um, your family life 
mostly in your love relationships right now. Avoid fighting. Now is not the time. If you get in fights or you nitpick with people or whatever the case may be, if you're being argumentative during this time, you're going to push people away. And it seems like you're understanding that. People are going to be understanding that. So there should be fewer fights this year. You have noticed that normally around this time of year, there's a lot of breakups. And that's because the stress from whatever holidays, you get other feelings involved around family or situations or ties, and you will mess up a completely good thing over a holiday or a day that honestly has nothing to do with you and your relationship. But you will break people down and push them away because they are not participating in whatever it is you want them to participate the way they want to participate in it or because they're celebrating something that they traditionally celebrate with their family that you disagree with those things are that's fine but it is something that can be worked out and talked about you don't have to go into rambo mode don't call out everything you see There'll be a lot of spiritual things happening and energy shifts with this upside down or reversed six of swords and the reversed two of swords. And there will be a lot of things that appear to be something that they're not. And you go based off of raw emotions rather than facts. You burn the village down. You, um, you blow things, not you, but you, people blow things out of proportion. They take themselves off their throne because they're not in control of what they want to be in control of, or they don't feel like they're in control. They don't feel like they're dominating. So they come off their pedestal and lower themselves to a level that they have no need to. Be aware of that. Don't be that person. Stay on your throne, stay on your pedestal. You have a lot of people in your life that will be around. Maybe they won't even speak to you, but like some of you have people that are gonna be in town near you that will call you to come visit them or maybe be five minutes away and not say anything to you. And it's because, it's not because they're mad at you, it's because they know you want something different for them that you perceive to be better. And even, it probably is better, but they're not ready yet. They're still in limbo and thinking about changing. Even if they said they want a definite change, they want it, they just haven't done it yet. So they stay away in order to not fight. They don't want to fight. They don't, for some of you, you do have a younger female in your life who's going to want to fight and you'll be the one walking away. But for the most part, they won't want to fight. Someone wants you to fight with them because it shows them that you still care. Um, and this is an ex-lover. Probably an air sign. Well, no, it could be any sign right now. But, yeah, they'll want to fight just to see if you still care enough to give it that much energy. But I can guarantee you that these next few days, starting today, including today, will can be used for a much, much higher purpose. It can be used to manifest your very much long-term goals. And that is the energy that we need to step in. That is the energy that we need to stay in. That is the love that we need to carry. That is the light that we need to shine because we're not, we're not worried about tomorrow, but we are 
setting up tomorrow, okay? We are walking into tomorrow greatly because we know what we put there, okay? Okay. Peace, y'all. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. I love you, love you, just because. Make sure you check out the description box below. Um, anything you buy from the little bar below goes straight to the Good Witch Global, which is funding and building the school in Ghana right now. So, love you to life. Keep it up. Keep it popping. Order some stuff. Save a village. All of that great stuff. Love you. Peace. Have a great day.